Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Lissandro from Lissandro's Tech Lab back here after a short hiatus. If you're watching this video, then the reason is probably because you can't figure out for the life of you how to solve the error code 0XC0000000F that comes up with the blue screen like it is behind me. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair that error, and it is entirely actually a drive issue. Let's get right into it. Okay, so now you guys have it. Here I've artificially created the error for the purpose of demonstration. As you can tell, it's the same error code that you're probably having. 0XC0000000F. So... If you try just pressing enter to try again, nothing happens. And I'm not even going to say to bother with pressing F8 or F9. What you want to do instead is I'm about to show you. Let's get right into that. So as I've said before, this is a problem caused by the drives not being correct pretty much. So it's most likely happening when you're building a new PC but if it's not the case that you're building a new PC, you'd probably add another drive or something like that. Just try undoing. If, if it's the case that you just added another drive, try removing that drive and seeing if it works then. But most likely it's because you're putting together a new PC and you're using a drive that already has data on it. In which case, you're going to want to put in your installation media and then make sure, be it, be it a disk like this OEM uh, copy of Windows 10 Home or be it a flash drive, you want to put in your installation media and then when your PC boots up, go into the BIOS and make sure that it's selected to boot from installation media and then there's a good chance that you're going to have to wipe your drive at least one of them so you could install windows on i'm going to show you how to go into the bios and do all that though just in a second so what you're going to want to do now is just go ahead and power on your pc and then while it's powering on, make sure to get into the BIOS by mashing delete or F2 or whatever key it'll tell you to do. Right here it says F2 in the corner or delete, but it should tell you right on your motherboard splash screen. Most likely delete or F2 though. Okay, now I'm in the BIOS. And now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is insert your installation media. You could have already done this if it happens to be a USB stick, but since mine is a disc, I need to actually turn it on to put it in. Okay, I just put in um, the disc with the installation media, with the Windows 10 media. So now, instead of uh, just proceeding, I'm first going to, again, press Save Changes and Exit so that it restarts again to make sure that it recognizes the disc even though that step might not always be necessary. It doesn't hurt. Okay, and now you wanna go into your boot options. And then here, this is incorrect how it is now because the first boot option is a drive. So yeah, you're gonna wanna go into uh, your, if it's a disc, then you're gonna wanna go into like boot CD, ROM, drive, priority, something like that. And then I already put it here as uh, the disk drive. That is the optical disk drive. If there's two, make sure you pick the one that says AHCI and not UEFI. Like here, there's two for the DVD RAM drive, two options. Okay, so now that I have boot option one set to the disk drive, or in your case, it might be the USB drive most likely, press save changes and exit. Now, as you can tell, it's going ahead and booting up again. And then this time, it'll go right to the installation media and give us a chance to boot from CD or DVD. As it said there, press anything to boot from them. And here we have it. We're booting into Windows. And remember to be doing this with only one drive installed, not with multiple to minimize any chance that the error will happen again. It might take a while since it's initializing windows for the first time ever well that's all for today folks thank you for watching i hope you found this video really helpful and if you did please leave a like down below and consider subscribing please i hope to see you all in the next one